Hello, Capricorn singles, <clears throat> and welcome to the tarot room. So, Cappy, grab a seat, get comfortable, and let's talk about you and your love life. Let's see if anyone new is coming towards you or what's going on in love in the next couple weeks, Capricorn. Let's find out. Spirit guides, what's going on with Capricorns in love in the next couple of weeks, please? You deserve love. So you are lovable. So Cap, I do want to make an announcement. I'm doing another contest. I know already, but I already made 3,000 subs. So thank you guys. I appreciate the support and the kind words. I can't express that enough to you. So the only way and the best way I think I can do that is to give away free readings. So if you want to enter um, in a contest to enter a free reading with me, just like, comment, subscribe. And on November 25th, I will be replying to the winners and I'll also announce in the community section. I'm going to put a post there later today too. So um, so if you want to answer for a free reading, you know what to do. I always pick a few people. Um, but let's get into your reading. So we have the King of Cups in reverse. We have the Page of Pentacles. Oh, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. What else we got here? Did one flip? We did. So we have the Four of Cups. Judgment in reverse. Ooh. Ooh, the Hierophant. Okay. What's with the Hierophant here? One more for Capricorn singles, and we will get into this. The Page of Swords in reverse. And on the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands in reverse. So, there's the Moon. Yeah. So, ooh, and there's the Emperor. Okay, so, I feel like there's somebody capping your past here. I do feel like this is a past person, but we'll find out. But I feel like... Somebody from your past here has um, who pushed you away. Um, somebody who wouldn't open up to you or somebody who just maybe just showed lack of interest. Um, well, they're coming back to you. So it could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What do you want to say about this King of Cups in reverse here for cat singles? Yeah. The hot. Okay, yeah. So isn't that interesting? So somebody that pushed you away, that didn't really show interest, that didn't really express that they wanted anything with you. They kind of kept everything inside because they do. They've stayed, they've kept it a secret, but they're ready to like expose themselves. Wait a minute, that sounds wrong. They're ready to like reveal that they, no one's coming out to, you know, moon your, you know, coming into your house naked hair cap. I meant like reveal their feelings to you um, to tell you <laughs> um, how they feel. So page of pentacles here. I feel like is this king of cups coming towards because we have the hierophant and the emperor so that's a serious commitment this is somebody who wants to invest in you and with this page of pentacles and this knight of wands they're rushing here towards you cap singles so what are they four swords in reverse they're starting to take six of look at that though the six of pentacles came out completely sideways so the four swords in reverse six of pentacles sideways and on the bottom is the eight of eight of cups so they want to come they made the the Page of Cups. They made the decision to hold back. That was the right time. So I'm not sure what was going on with your person. They weren't giving to this, but they want to now. But they don't know how you're going to feel about this cap. So with the Four of Swords, that tells me, like I said, we have the, they're coming here to take action. They're coming to talk to you. They're coming to tell you that they want to be with you. There's the King of Wands in reverse and the Six of Swords that they're stuck on you. Clearly, they um, forgot the decision they made. But with the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups and the Judgment in reverse, not sure how you feel about this. So what is this Eight of Wands in reverse here? Yeah, so you kind of forgot about this person. Yeah, look at you released them. So why sit there and ponder and wonder about somebody who showed like no interest in doing anything with you? So you just let them go. Isn't that interesting? So <laughs> now they want something with you. What happened? Why didn't... What do you want to say about that? King of Swords in reverse. And the King of Wands. They were... Whoa, there's the Wheel of Fortune again. So a lot of... Hmm. They were um, just not expressive. They were just emotionally unavailable is all that I see. So when you tried to get to know them or when you try to push things forward or when you tried to do anything, you just kind of got nothing from this person. But it definitely was, a, was not a lack of attraction. <laughs> um, I mean, you could have been intimate with this person and they just didn't express anything more. But... Um, this is telling me that they were just emotionally, un they weren't, wow. But now with the seven of pentacles and the queen of cups to the king of cups here, what the hell happened to this person? The, the knight of cups. So now is the right time. Now this person is available. Maybe, <laughs> you know, they were, obviously there's something was going on in their life, but with judgment in reverse, they've done a lot of thinking, a lot of reflecting um, and they know what they want and what they want is a partnership with you here, Cap, which is, I think, well, I, I know you're not expecting it. What do you want to say? Yeah. 
But there's the Eight of Pentacles in reverse again. And the Temperance in reverse. And the Four of Cups. Again, I knew that was going to come out because I know that you're not expecting this. Like when this person contacts you, you're going to be like, what the fuck? You're still thinking about me? Like we haven't talked. You showed no interest. <laughs> I just thought you were dead and, you know, I forgot about you. Um, but that's what they want to be. This person's coming up as the King of Cups, the King of Wands, and the King of Pentacles. So they definitely, and the Emperor, let's note that. So you could be dealing with another Earth sign because we also have the Hierophant. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But this person wants to um, provide for you. They want to build a life with you. They want to be somebody to you. They want to be a part of your life here, Cap. So they want the Hierophant. They want a commitment. They want a partnership. They know what they want with you. They've done a lot of thinking. So what's the Page of Swords in reverse here? Five of Cups in reverse. This one wants to come out. Got Temperance in reverse again. Hold on. The card dropped over here. It's like under my chair. What is this for the Cap singles? The Eight of Cups. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know. I, oh my God, but there's the six of cups. Interesting. I didn't see that coming. Just like the tower. You don't see this coming. So it's interesting because you don't know. Like with this eight of cups, it is a little bit different than some of the other decks. We can also just look at this as a, as a decision. She's got two choices to make and she's trying to decide which path to take. Um, with the temperance in reverse, I do feel like you kind of don't have a lot of patience or a lot of um, just you just don't want to deal with someone who um, is finicky or flighty or not expressive maybe they're we'll find out for me to say that not expressive they still might not be the most emotionally open person but with the six of cups this deck is is um there's that moon again and the two of swords now i feel like there's the knight of wands in reverse so you feel a strong connection with this person i feel with the six of cups here i do feel like you're going to entertain it and maybe go out to dinner with them go have a drink with them talk to them see what they're all about I don't feel like they gave you that opportunity in the past to get to know them. So I think part of you doesn't really know this person. Um, but you don't have a lot of patience for bullshit. I'll tell you that. So you're giving it a chance, but it's like they're on like a short leash. You know what I mean, Cap? Like they don't because the attraction is mutual. There's that King of Wands again. Look at them looking at that opportunity. So there's a strong connection here, a strong passion. Like there's a lot of, yeah, and the, it's unfinished too. So, hmm. So the person who showed no interest and didn't really let you get to know them is coming back here, unbeknownst to you, um, to try and build something with you, Cap. So let's get a few Oracle messages and then we'll see where you guys are in a month. Because I do see you kind of talking to them, dating them, getting to know them. So let's see what happens here. What does Capricorn need to surrender to, Spirit Guides? Surrender to a trust. <laughs> trust yourself in your decisions. Do not be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do. Take action and be confident that you have indeed chosen the right path. So no matter what you choose, trust that you're making the right choice. Trust in yourself. So the caring connection between Cap and this person. Learn. Let love show you how to learn from each other. So maybe they just need someone to make them feel comfortable opening up. Maybe they're ready to open up to you. Um, what is the hidden truth? We'll find out once we get um, to your outcome there, Cap. But... This person could say something to you that they're not saying or that they, whoa he wants me to take none of those but let's restart that okay what do you want to say what this person could say something what would they say or what can't they say that cap needs to know so many things remind me of you i'm so attracted to you okay i think we saw that throughout the reading <laughs> okay so let's get your potential outcome here so let's find out where you and this person are in a month so when i say i miss my energy oracle card wait a minute what am i thinking I forgot about this. I don't like doing readings without my oracle. Um, okay. What's the energy oracle message for cap singles? What do you want to say? What message do you want to pass along, spirit guides, about this situation for them? This person coming through. Well, well that one's flying. Hold on. It's all the way over here. Yin, yang, card number 22, but it's in reverse. So let's get your message. So when one comes out of the deck, the message in the book cap. One moment and let's get this bad boy for you. So this card reverse reveals a yang cycle, which is one of active outgoing energy. The time calls for a logical approach, but the logic needs to be applied with purpose, purposeful action. The cycle is marked by creativity, new beginnings, and a significant outer change. So let yourself apply more forceful energy to the task at hand and take advantage of this highly charged yang time. So this person's coming through at a pretty good time. <laughs> so let's see what you do and how you're feeling about this. So let's see where you... 
and this person are in a month. So spirit guides, there's Capricorn and this person in a month. So this is potential outcome because there's always free will. You're going to make your choices and in a month is the outcome. Well, it's not really an outcome, but it's just where you are in a month from now. Hmm. Well, the Empress, we have the Six of Pentacles. What is this? The Ten of, so we have the Five of Wands in reverse. We have the Two of Cups in reverse. We have the Magician in reverse. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. We have the Empress. And then we have the Six of Pentacles with the Queen of Cups in reverse. Interesting. Because we have the Emperor and the Emperors. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the King of Cups. But here's the thing. I don't see this person here. So you didn't want to fight. That's what, just what I'm hearing. You didn't want to fight. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Maybe there was an argument or you just got... But with the Two of Cups and the Magician, there's a, just a lack of communication. I feel like this is just a person who doesn't know how to emotionally express themselves. So you don't feel appreciated or loved or needed or wanted. But it's like they want you inside. They just don't know how to make it vulnerable. But I feel for you, Cap, you just don't want to fight and argue. You don't want to question. Like I said, you were in no BS kind of mood. They were on a short leash and they weren't open with you. This is just them not being open with you. The Ten of Wands, I feel like you've put this behind you. You're kind of like, why'd you come out of nowhere and come back here? Um, with the Six of Pentacles, I feel like they they couldn't open up to you. So the Star in Reverse and the Ace of Swords, it just left you confused. You are the Empress, though, and this is the Emperor, and that's the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So there's a match here. So what do you want to say about that? Like, um, what else do you want to add to that, Spirit Guides? <laughs> the king of cups the page of wands yeah seven of pentacles so this person's not gone but i do feel like you just have a short you're not you have no patience for it so if they want to come and be with you then they got to be up front they got to be honest they got to be reliable um and i see that they're trying but i see you're in an obs mood so they've done something here where you just don't want to fight and argue anymore um but they want to change. So the choice is up to you. Seven of Pentacles. They want to invest in you. And there's a Six of Cups. There is a strong connection here, Cap. So I feel as though, um, you know, you can choose what you want to do. But this person's not giving up on you that easily. They're still here. Um, that's why they gave us these three cards. Because I couldn't see them. I couldn't see them before. <laughs> but they're here. They're still messaging you. There's a page of wands. So you just got no time for, you just got no they either open up, they either shit or get off the pot because you're in the no, you're in an OBS mood. You know what I mean? So you want me, you want me, let's do this. If you don't, you don't go away. <laughs> this is the kind of mood I feel like you're in. And I feel like this person has a problem opening up and expressing themselves. So there's a communication block. Um, and I feel like they're still trying because they see you as the Empress. Obviously, you're my you're Capricorns. The Capricorns I read for always come up as the Empress. You guys are awesome. Um you're self-improvers. <laughs> but there's your final message. Hold on. So that's just what they want to say. It's up to you what you're going to do with it. But there is this block with this person, but there's a strong connection. So if you want to work through it, you do. If you don't want to work through it, you don't. But you can if you want, because this person wants this with you. So let's get to your final messages to close your reading off cap. So be patient with your... Whoa, this is so weird because I was just saying. <laughs> be patient with yourself. because Self-growth is tender. It's holy ground. There is no greater investment. So before bed, recite the following affirmation five times. I am a work in progress. I am stronger than today. And tomorrow I'll be stronger than today. Well, the same one. Self-love is an ocean and your heart is a vessel. Make it full and any excess will spill over into the lives of the people that you hold dear. But you must come first. So recite these words in your heart. I am worthy of all the good things in my life. That's what I got for you, Cap. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.